Welcome back, I'm Kim Bailey and this is Floral Art Online and we're continuing our series on what to do with a bunch of supermarket flowers for Christmas. This time around, this is a very contemporary design. Not for everyone, I grant you, and this is going to be a challenge for some people, but for others it might be just the thing that will set off their decor perfectly. And in this, we're going to use three individual flowers so that if you buy a bunch from the supermarket, and if you've looked at the other videos in the series, you'll see that I've got four stems in the bunch that I bought at the supermarket, and they were chrysanthemums, so there's a number of flowers on each stem. When What that means, of course, is that if you did something like this, or something like the bowl arrangement, or the basket arrangement that we've done in previous videos, you're going to have three or four designs that you can put around the house, or you can give away to friends, and that just makes it such a lovely way to incorporate some of you into Christmas time and the joy of Christmas. So in this particular design we're only going to use three flowers as I said so three of them will come off this single stem and I'll have the rest of the stem to use for other activities. What I've done first of all is this is a round of timber that you can get at a hardware store they come ready prepared so I think about um, five dollars something like that. And in it, this is a, a metal rod that screws in in the plumbing section, I believe, of the hardware store. And I've just bent it into this shape so that what I can do is thread through this dried branch and that becomes the structure for the design. I've, I've obviously spray painted it blue because I wanted to use the blue baubles. And in previous videos, I've talked about how I go after Christmas to the, the cheap shops, the dollar shops, and look at what they've got half price or even less and buy up in all sorts of colors for the next year because what i find is that these designs are not necessarily christmas designs you could use them anytime any party any celebration anything where you wanted to have a little bit of elegance and style you could probably use this as a table center but it would be difficult to talk through so maybe bring it down a little bit lower even if you had the branch actually on the, the board and then just had the baubles around it. Black and white themes work really well. Um, so a whole range of other ideas apart from using the Christmas baubles on your tree or on your presents. Use them in these designs. So some as you can see are hanging and others I have glued in place, hot glued in place. And the reason I've done that is that they're going to be the water source for the flowers that we put in. And of course a couple of pine cones which are also uh, hot glued onto the base. When you're hot gluing, I highly recommend the use of floral art fingers. These are available on the website. They're a silicon fingertip, so I use just those two, but in the, the pack that you can get from the website, actually there's, a, there's five in the pack, all different colors, so all different sizes. So there'll be something that will fit either one, the one finger you use or all the fingers you use. I just use these two because that's what I use to squeeze things together. But what I find is that I don't ever get burnt anymore. And if you're a, a fan of the florist glue, the cold glue, it doesn't stick to these either. And those of you who use it will know what a drama it is to try and get that off your fingers when it's dry. So floral art fingers they're called and the link will be down in the description below. So what has happened here so far is that I've glued, I've looked at the, the balance, so this is quite a, a long horizontal design. I don't want anything that will detract from that line, so that's why I'm using a minimum amount of flowers. I've repeated the colour of the brown in the, the branch with the brown in the pine cones, so that makes it easy on our eyes, we understand what the colour scheme is. I've kept it to the blues and the silvery greys, so once again that's in that same colour palette. And all I'm going to do is add three flowers in the yellow that will really make it pop. So what I've done with these, the baubles, to make them the water source is just simply remove that, the hanging cap and they just pull off. If you needed, so you have that, still have that collar there, if you needed a somewhat wider opening you can actually cut that off with scissors. And, it, and they just make such a good way of utilising a, a decorative element in your design. So I'm just putting some water in these now because this is one that's going to be staying in the lounge room. 
Now these watering containers, you, you can get them in the um, garden centres. I'm going to have to go around the front to do this one. <laughs> to get them in the garden centres, they're often used for ferns and for... Let's see how strong it is. There you go. So what I've also done is tied the branch to the metal rod in a number of places to keep it stable. And a number of places still have the tie on them where I was using it for something else. So that's just what, what is commonly referred to as paper covered wire, but you could use any sort of soft wire for it, or you could use ribbon or string. You know, in a natural looking design, probably the string is going to work the best and not detract from your design, but, but not stand out either. So let's have a look now. Three placements very simply need to be done. What we do need to do is match the size of the flowers with where we're going to place them. So we've got one here, one here, and one here. And because this is the bigger container and this would probably be our focal point, which is where people would look at when they look at the design, we'll look at putting the biggest one there and having a middle size one there, maybe with a little bit of height, although it's because the angle of the the opening is out this way. And I'm just going to have to be careful about that that diagonal line doesn't detract from the other line that isn't in there. So I might well just put that down low and have this one up a little bit higher. We want to stagger the heights because once again it makes it interesting. So let's just see what we can do. The biggest one is that one. We don't need it very long. Once again if you've got Tied little petals, just pull them off at the base because you don't want anything to detract from the work that you've put in to make this design look exceptional. How's that look? Looks good from this side. But then we want one that's going to sit right down flat. And sometimes this is a bit of trial and error, so it's good if you've got a few other designs that you're going to do because you might decide that this one is too big. And so we'll, we'll have to go for something a bit smaller. Now I want that to sit all the way down. I only have the flower out, so plenty of space to cut it down. And just so, and, and just gently push it out so that it gives you the, the, the size that you're looking for. Now, one of the things that I would probably best for you, me to point out to you at this stage is that if you, say we had decided to have the stem out. Okay. I'll show you on one before I cut it. Let's take this one because we'll use this one as the, the back. So if we had that with the stem out, you can see that that line just doesn't work in the designer, so it just looks out of place. So always do a bit of trial and error, look at it, walk away, close your eyes, open your eyes again. And when you open your eyes, where does your eye go to first? What are you looking at first? Because that's where anyone looking at the design will look at it, regardless of how long you might have spent chopping and changing the arrangement around. And so in this one, we probably want it to come up about just under that, that height. And I've chosen this one because it's already not open all the way and that will sit nicely under the way the pine cone is and it reflects the shape that the pine cone is at the moment. We could actually force it in there, in between the pine cones, so it's held a little bit more upright than it otherwise would be. The other thing I've done here is I've left that tie on there because I, the board is quite dominant and quite bare, and so we want something that brings this silvery colour down onto the board as well, apart from the baubles. I probably have left it on that one as well, so it looks like it's just been, it's just fallen there, it's not quite ready to go into its place yet but always
always look at the depth of your design. So if there's something interesting all the way through, you have to look through it to see what's there, not just everything in its place and all in one line. And that for the most part, uh, this would probably be, people would look at it from the angle that you're looking at it. But if you wanted to have it at different angles, depending on where you're placing it, just do that little spin around, walk around. I'm fortunate I've got the turntable so I can spin it around and see how it's looking and whether I'm happy with the way it is. And that's probably enough. The, the, the one thing that we might consider doing is where this metal rod ends here. It might be nice to have something that, that camouflage that hard end of that metal rod. And so I would probably put another smaller bauble on the end there or have it hanging from here so it just, just couldn't see it. Now I'm just looking down with my supplies. I don't think I've got another one that colour. But if I find another one that colour, I'll hang it down there so that you can see it in the final images. But, but that's basically the design. Three individual flowers. Now, I think everyone can find three individual flowers somewhere, even if it's a friendly neighbour that's going to lend them to you for a little bit of time. But if you are using a bunch of supermarket flowers, three flowers out of the bunch is going to mean you've got a whole lot more to use for other designs. So have a look at the other videos, see if there's some way that with one bunch of flowers you can make three or four designs. Let me know, send me the photos, I'd love to see what you're doing with it. But this is a very contemporary take on a Christmas arrangement. Thanks for watching, I'm Kim Bailey and this is Floral Art Online, the Christmas series with supermarket flowers.